In this video, we'll be going over exercise 12.1 star string. So, the preview of the problem, we have parameter n that returns a string of stars. So here, okay, it's going to be 2 to the n long, 2 to the string of stars. So, the best way to explain this is whenever we have a 0, that's going to be our base case. Whenever so whenever it hits n equals 0, we're going to output 1 star. So n equals 1, we're going to output a single star. Oh, so n equals 0. n equals 1, we're going to output 2 stars. n equals 2, we're going to output 4 stars. As you can see, this tree of stars is going to continue to grow as n gets bigger. n equals 3, it's going to look even bigger like this. Just imagine that there are stars at the ends of all these uh, trees. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 stars in this one. So all we need to do is recreate that, but using recursion. So in recursion, we're going to have our base case. So, if uh, okay, so first we want to create a string. First. So string, uh, so string star equals empty string. Empty string. And then our base case. So it always checks if n equals zero. If n equals zero. Then we want to. Oh, I just forgot. It. Is star star plus equal star. Alright, so that's our base case right there. Now we just have to do the else case. So if it's not zero, we want to wanna decrease n and then put that back into star string. So else, we want to do star plus equals star string n minus 1. Then we want to do that twice. And that's your else case. To go over y, Let's just look back at this diagram. So if n equals 1, we call n equals 0. These are both n equals zeros. 0, 0. We call it twice. So n minus 1, 0, 0. n equals 2, we call n minus 1 twice. These are both 1s. And then we call 0 4 times because those 1s are quite these 2. And this one we call n equals 2, 2 times n equals 1 4 times, no, whoops. 1, 1, 1, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So you're always decreasing the number of n and I'm putting that back into star string. So as you can see, this, this shape right here is exactly similar to this, is exactly the same as this shape right here. Right? And if we look at another example, this shape right here, Oh, sorry, hold on. Sorry, this. Sorry, this shape right here. This shape is. Oh, I just. This shape right here is exactly the same as this shape. And. This shape is just zero. So you're always just. You're always reusing. Uh, the structures from before, and that's what recursion is. So after that, we want to return star, and that's pretty much it. Um, except for one of the test cases, one of the test cases they give you an n of negative of a negative integer, 
And when n is negative, that's that's going to bring up an error. So we're just going to check that error. And go zero. We're going to throw a new error. Make this illegal argument. And then if we run this, see that's going to output these stars. And then when n equals 81, it's going to run the error exception. All right, thank you.